بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم لیٹس ٹاک اباؤٹ دا کرنٹ اینڈ فیوچر پروسپیکٹس آف ڈفرینٹ بایو سینسرس آر لاٹ آف ریسرچ از گوئنگ آن ان دا فیلڈ آف بایو سینسرس اینڈ لاٹ آف اپروچز اینڈ ٹیکنیکس آر اینڈ اسٹریٹجیز آر بینگ یوزڈ ٹو میک ڈفرینٹ ٹائپس آف بایو سینسرس ون آف دوز از نینو ٹیکنالوجی اینڈ نینو بایو ٹیکنالوجی ایز ویل سو یہ آئیڈیا کہاں سے آیا نینو ٹیکنالوجی کا بیسیکلی جتنے بھی ہم کام کرتے ہیں ٹیکنالوجی میں بایو ٹیکنالوجی میں اسپیشلی Uh, the ideas are driven from the nature same goes for nano technology uh, we can say that nature is uh, full of uh, such nano structures uh, and these structures uh, these nano structures uh, can be used uh, as uh, as uh, as a source of ideas to make so many different uh, compounds so many different uh, assemblies so many different structures in biotechnology so uh, these uh, nano systems uh, are much more advanced than all of the man made systems why so because nature is very precise nature mein jitne phenomena ho rahe hain wo bahut precise hain so whatever we do in uh, biotechnology we try to copy it we try to mimic it so obviously wahan pe jo ho rahe hain nature mein uh, those are much more efficient mechanisms so efforts are put to either mimic or to use such systems in the development of new applications and devices this is uh, what actually biotechnology is so we try to Uh, either we try to use those systems as such or we try to mimic those systems which are found naturally uh, much focus has been done on the interfaces in molecular dimensions ke molecules aapas mein kaise interact karte hain unke interface pe kaun si forces hain jo operate karti hain aur kaun se factors hain jo sara ye interaction karate hain this is termed as molecular nanotechnology so you can see here there are different types of nanotechnology approaches as well and the trend is toward the combination of physics and biology uh, to advance to make advancements more and more in nanotechnology and nanostructures as well and therefore this field of nanotechnology basically can be said to comprise of a group of emerging techniques which belong to physics chemistry biology engineering and microelectronics as well so uh, again uh, we can take so many ideas from nature one of uh, those ideas uh, on which a lot of research is going on is basically self assembly of different molecules and uh, this has been proposed for the synthesis of uh, nano structures which can be capable capable of performing unique functions on their own because uh, those will be uh, operating uh, by themselves uh, self assembly is the formation of organized patterned structures without external direction سو بہت سارے مالیکولس لائف کے ایسے ہیں جو کہ سیلف اسمبل کرتے ہیں ان میں ان کو ہمیں ایز سچ بار بار انسٹرکشنس نہیں دینی پڑتی سو بیسڈ آن دیٹ آئیڈیا ڈفرینٹ ٹائپس آف بایو سینسرس کین بی کریٹیڈ ایز ویل بایو مٹیریلس سچ ایز پروٹینس لپڈس اینڈ نیوکلک ایسڈس دے ٹین ٹو سیلف اسمبل جو ہمیں سارا تھیری سے ملتا ہے سچ نینو اسٹرکچرس آر اپلائڈ فار دا ڈیولپمنٹ آف Uh, have been applied for the development of amperometric immuno sensors uh, which can give different types of signals uh, much work has been done and still is going on in this field in this area for example gold film electrode uh, with openings where biotinylated antigen can be bound uh, to capture molecules streptavidin uh, this type of bio sensor has been created so you can see here uh, nano structures are being used in bio sensors other strategies uh, are based on the extraordinary signal properties of metal nanoparticles so metal ke nanoparticle bhi use hue hain to make bio sensors um, these metal nanoparticles they differ in size obviously depending on the metal and composition as well and can be designed to scatter light of different wavelengths according to their distinct surface plasma resonance so based on different wavelengths of, of light the metal will uh, react differently and different types of signals will be observed so all these things can be used uh, nano scale uh, technology is there uh, all these things can be used to make different types of bio sensors there have been example of development of gold colloidal nano particle aggregates as well for the synthesis of different types of bio sensors and one of the example is where these aggregates nano scale aggregates are linked to short pieces of dna dna probes as well so you can see here a uh, miniature level of bio sensors can be created by using different types of nano materials another uh, advantage of these uh, nano uh, nanotechnology based bio sensors is that 
uh the transducer transducer and the uh, uh, bio recognition animal element are very close to each other each, each other and therefore much uh, stronger signal can be obtained in this case in this this example the material exhibits a color change from red to blue after dna hybridization again yahan probe use ho rahe hain humne pehle bhi zikr kiya tha ki the probe uh, are used based on the principle of hybridization so the color will be changed from red to blue after dna hybridization the color change is basically in this case due to electromagnetic coupling between the gold nanoparticles so you can see here different types of nanoparticles can be used uh, to detect different types of uh, things uh, so different types of biosensors can be uh, can be made based on different nanoparticles so uh, obviously uh, uh, this gives much more advantage as compared to other, uh, other biosensors and uh, miniaturization of the biosensors is also possible we'll talk more about the future prospects of biosensors in our next lessons